Great to see you, Craig. This is an interesting game because it's sort of the, the positive stuff with Matthews maybe glossing over what Sheldon Keefe was talking about. Uh, Florida really made a game of it, made it interesting in the end. Do you like this as a playoff matchup for Toronto this year uh, against the Panthers, or, or would it frighten you a bit if you're a Leaf fan? I don't know if you should be frightened or not. I, I, I really think that the Leafs can feel good about beating good teams in the league. And I think all the way through, Jay, the way that they play when they're committed to playing defense and they stay with it and they don't try to get out of that, that they can be successful against a lot of teams and they can be successful because their offense is so good. But at the same time, when they start to get kind of iffy, wishy-washy defensively, it becomes a big problem for them. And that's why teams are able to come back and make it a game of it. And that's exactly what the uh, Florida Panthers did. So, you know, it's a 5-4 game, and then you put out Matthews, and he seals the deal with his 60-second into the empty net. But all in all, I mean, right now, what I would be doing if I'm the Toronto Maple Leafs, they're four points behind the Florida Panthers. Why not try to get home ice in the first round? It wasn't too long ago there was some talk, oh, maybe they'll fall into a wild card position. Yep. Get home ice in the first round and, and, and take it from there. That's where I would be. Sharpen the saw. They're going to get players back in the lineup. Get ready for the playoffs. But I think consistency and commitment all the way through a game is the thing that the Leafs have to continue to show themselves. Because if, when they do it, they can be successful. Craig, I love that. Positive news for the Leafs. As you mentioned, they're within four points of, Atlanta, of Florida for second in the Atlantic.